tutorial time! We finished the film, now what? music on the film and yeah. uh, we already knew who our composer was going to be. Robert Litton was amazing to work with on Gerald's Last Day and he's become a good friend anyway and uh, even if we didn't like him we'd have to use him for Dog and Nuts because he's a great composer. Right. So it, it's it's my favorite part definitely of making any film and we spent four and a half years in the garage finishing this film uh, and we were ready to start the music and we contacted our, our financer who had sent us funding for the first half of the film and things had changed for him. Right, we said okay we're ready for our post-production for portion funding. of the funding yeah. and he said oh sorry funding's not available yeah, anymore. Yeah, we and can't do that. So that was one of our lessons learned in this film. You're gonna get your funding, get it all up front. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we were a little, uh, not freaked out, but we were like, oh, we're so disappointed because it was such a long haul getting there. And we were so excited about the musical part. Um, so we thought on our feet and, you know, at this point in time, Kickstarter had become a pretty big, uh, successful idea. So we're It was like, a new but big yeah. successful idea. And our friends were saying, do a Kickstarter. Do, do a, a Kickstarter, Kickstarter. Do a Kickstarter. So. So we did. We did a Kickstarter. We got so much support and help from people just showing us how to do a Kickstarter. Yes. And then our Kickstarter did great. It yeah. did great. And people donated art, amazing art, yes. to... Um, to help sell the film and, mm -hmm. and promote the, the, uh, the Kickstarter campaign. And, and we were blown away. We, we raised enough money for the music, which... You know, people have no idea how much something like that costs, but it's expensive. And uh, and we got on the horn after like three, four days of success, and we're like, Robert, start writing. We're gonna we're gonna have a successful campaign. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it was really cool. Um, Robert had been writing a little bit for four years, actually. He was like <laughs> tired of of thinking of doodles for our song. So it'd be, you know, space, and then. Uh, Justin and Shell present. Go, go, go! And we hear the voice of Don. So he, um, but when he, when he finally gave him the go ahead, he's like, all right, I can finally dig into this yeah. stuff that I've been sitting on for four years. And so he dug in and, and Justin gave him a temp track because yeah. Justin's just a huge fan. Of I'm a, scores. yeah, I love scores of films. I'm listening to them all the time. Half the time I'm, I'm getting cartoon concepts just from listening to these musics. And, uh, and so we gave him a temp track that was already on our, our edit and, uh, so he had an idea of the tones and the pacing that we were wanting, and he gave us some feedback for some ideas he had, which were great, and uh, we were able to uh, go and listen to some of his themes uh, at his house, just like he played some Gerald stuff for us. That's me, Johnson. <laughs>
<laughs> and uh, he told us a lot of cool stuff about like the fight scene was a big important part of our film. And the temp track Justin had put on for the fight scene was from Troy, these drums from Troy. And we said we really love these drums and the kind of energy it builds up and yeah, these kind of drums. And taiko drums are like these Japanese really cool drums and uh, Battlestar Galactica which is a show I loved, use them in, in their theme music. And uh, and so Robert just happened to know the guy that did the Battlestar Galactica drums. <laughs> and, and he happens to have a, a studio filled with amazing drums from all over the world. And we were so lucky to get to go. Robert brought, him to his, to his play, brought us to his place and he was so generous with us and showed us all the drums and let us play the drums. Yeah. And that was an amazingly uh, fun field fun trip. Fun field trip. <laughs> yeah. And I actually got to hear him do the Battlestar Galactica <laughs> <laughs> drums and that dorked me out and really got me pumped up. Yeah. So we had, you know, our first taste and, you know, this, this time around we had a lot more understanding of how it is to work with a composer because uh, you know there's a certain level of trust especially you know it's when you're giving a large amount of money for music you're, you're kind of terrified what if you don't like it and Robert's well, a very talented guy but yeah. but you, you worry and we had more trust and definitely you, because Gerald went great yeah, so Gerald we was already awesome. came in with trust but it is scary because you're like yeah I like how that sounds on the piano and then you, right how do you Translate that to violins but it's and sound horns like in and an orchestra. Yeah, but of course it sounded amazing. It again. did, and we we liked the themes already, uh, even from hearing them on the piano. Mm -hmm. So it was headed in an awesome direction from the start, and you know, all of a sudden the big day comes, and we uh, we head on over to Warner Brothers after inviting all of our family and all of our friends, anyone we could, to partake in this this giant moment when you when you have your film up on the screen and a huge orchestra playing and this orchestra was so much larger than what we did on Gerald which was a very small film uh, this was like Star Wars it epic, was so exciting oh my god massive so thrilling. cool instruments of every kind my and favorite part is Hillary I mean I can't say it's my favorite part but one of my favorite parts is just hearing the orchestra warm up yeah these musicians are are amazing. They walk in, they sit down with a piece of paper of music that was probably finished the night before. The paint <laughs> is still wet on the paper. Right. And they just play it. They've never seen it. They've never heard it. They just play it together with a whole orchestra. Everyone comes in at the right time. They're, they're really phenomenal. They're pros. They're the same guys that are working on every feature out here in Los Angeles. So the fact that we get to have them on our little garage film is is amazing. And that's due to, you know, Robert uh, and his connections. Yeah. And, and it, it, it was unbelievable uh, being there and listening to them play. And, and we thought it was amazing sitting there in the room with these instruments playing. And then Robert invited us to come up to the podium with him for the last song. and. Ah, it was so like even it was like stand we got to stand in the middle of the orchestra when they were playing and who knew it could be better but it was it was yeah. you could feel all those instruments vibrating all the way around you while you're watching our film <laughs>
and you see um, the you know you see Dober and Fester fly off together in yeah. the spaceship they made and the music soaring and it just takes it to such a different level. Yeah, it's it's physical. You yeah, feel it. Exactly. It's kinesthetic. Exactly. Uh, in your body, it's not just audible, which is obviously magical in itself. So uh, it was home run amazing amazing and makes you want to get back there as soon as you can to do it again because it's, it, it's such a crack <laughs> it's true but uh it was magic and and thank you yeah awesome. that was our that was our experience with the music yeah. on dog and Nuts. dog and Nuts.